Did you help Kim release her tape? It's okay. No. Chris Jenner has finally confessed to a long suspected secret in a surprising turn of events. The momager admitted to orchestrating the release of the infamous Kim Kardashian and Ray J tape, confirming speculation that she was the mastermind behind the scandal that propelled her family to fame. Let's delve into Chris's confession and how it unfolded. The world seemed to have moved on from the Kim Kardashian tape scandal until Kris Jenner took a lie detector test on The Late Late Show with James Corden, reigniting the controversy. On the show, Kris faced the pivotal question, did she have any involvement in leaking Kim Kardashian's notorious tape? She vehemently denied any role, stating, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Let's be real. TV shows especially talk shows are heavily scripted and planned everything from the segments to the questions is typically predetermined when it comes to lie detectors on TV they often ask the same question multiple times to get a more accurate reading rather than relying on a single question and answer lie detectors themselves aren't foolproof, and their accuracy can be questionable. It's quite probable that Chris underwent the lie detector test off-camera before the actual taping of the show. During this pre-filming process, they likely conducted the complete test, analyzed the results, and then staged a recreation of the scenario for the on-air segment. By the time the questions were posed again during the show, the answers were already known. Often the reactions you witness on TV are pre-arranged, even though the host and the test taker might not be privy to the exact results initially. However, those interpreting the results are usually aware. Later, Chris was observed discussing a tape with someone during a family dinner. We made that little yeah. tape because mm -hmm. we decided it was a good idea. One more beer for you. Yeah. Yeah. Really you give me I this glass right here. There's a possibility that Chris Jenner already knew the outcome of the on-air lie detector test or that the entire segment was staged. Regardless, this episode has sparked considerable controversy, particularly involving Ray J. Kim Kardashian's ex, who was also involved in the tape. Ray J took to Instagram live from a private screening room on Saturday night to address the issues surrounding Kim Kardashian's sex tape. He shared alleged text exchanges with Kanye West, suggesting Kanye's involvement and Kim's attempts to control information about the tape. Ray J also presented a contract with Vivid Entertainment purportedly signed by Kim, adding another layer to the ongoing discussion. What happened? Yeah, like, for me, I've always just tried to be positive with everything that was thrown at me and thrown my way. And I think, you know, I can, I can, uh, I can make mistakes. I can take it, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just make the adjustments along the way to get there. And that's how I had to look at that. That's how I had to look at a lot of shit that was happening um, as I progressed and then degressed at the same time, like I was going like this. Just floating through these vortexes of like, just unbelievable like fun and trouble, but it's not bad trouble. It's like, it's like great trouble, right? So people are doing people wrong. That's bad people. I like to really like to, to. In his address, Ray J accused Kris Jenner of orchestrating the release of the tape. He alleged that Vivid Entertainment purchased three tapes and claimed that Kris personally selected one because it gives my daughter a better look. Ray J passionately called on fans to demand answers and apologies from the Kardashians, stating that they have mistreated him. That was three and a half days. Nah, that was three and a half nah, days nah, 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 nah. Of, of, of reality too, because it was a full like thing. Nope. I had a full production. Nah. <laughs> I mean, man. Shout out to all my people in Cabo that did grip. No. Everything. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was, it was like commercial break. <laughs> man, it's all a blur. <laughs> Ray J's frustration was palpable during his presentation as he encountered difficulties. At one point, he left the room to fetch his other phone and struggled to locate his direct messages, DMs, with Kim. The live feed concluded shortly thereafter. Later, he posted a 44-minute video revisiting the DMs and confirming that Kim had not blocked him. He reviewed the vivid contract and discussed potential legal actions against the Kardashians. Ray J ended by declaring that he had more documents to reveal, emphasizing that the matter was far from settled. In a subsequent development, Kim disclosed in a series of posts that Kanye West had retrieved the original footage from Ray J to safeguard their children. However, Ray J countered Kim's account on Instagram, asserting that her version of events was inaccurate and misleading. 
He expressed frustration over what he perceived as ongoing misrepresentation of the situation. Ray J clarified that the tape released publicly was filmed in Cabo while other tapes which he claims were stored by Kim in a Nike shoe box under her bed never left her possession. He emphasized that he never had any of the tapes during their relationship denying any involvement in leaking the footage. Ray J was deeply upset by the suggestion made on the Kardashians' Hulu series that he might possess additional compromising footage of Kim. He vehemently denied this, recounting a meeting with Kanye West where he voluntarily handed over a laptop containing private photos and videos from their relationship. According to Ray J, this gesture was intended to ease Kim's worries, not as an attempt at blackmail as implied by the show. And Kanye as well. And Kanye is my boy. I love Kanye now. We got a chance to like, uh, just understand each other and understand the plan and understand what can and can't be and what happened and, and what's now. And so, you know, we, we good, we good, really good. Despite his initial association with the Kardashians, Ray J has consistently been the target of blame, which has significantly tarnished his reputation over the years. Meanwhile, the Kardashians have continued to profit from the scandal. Ray J has had to continually defend his integrity and assert the truth, noting we're all still making money, highlighting the ongoing financial gains the Kardashians derive from the tape. This stands in stark contrast to their public depiction of him as the antagonist, even as they flourish in the public spotlight. Where, where, where were you the moment that you found out that Ray J is on tape? So long ago, all I remember is how it smells. I'm just playing. I can't. Ray J has claimed that Kris Jenner orchestrated the release of the to catapult her daughter Kim Kardashian to fame similar to how Paris Hilton's notoriety increased after her own tape. Scandal, according to Ray J. Chris was deeply involved in the decision-making proc process even negotiating the deal with Vivid Entertainment. He alleges that Chris reviewed all three tapes and selected the one shot in Cabo stating it gives my daughter a better look as it would best serve Kim's public image. But anything out without anybody's consent and make millions on their fucking demise, like, y'all, okay, I'm going to the house. They sending me all the shit I got at the house. They emailing me all these facts. Y'all sued Steve Hirsch, that's a lie. Five million dollars, you never got five million. You can't print those documents up, they don't exist. You never got no money from Steve, you got 400,000. Just like I got 400,000, we signed a contract the same day. You got the same contract I got, except guess what? You rushed me to sign the contract because your mama was rushing me to sign it. So guess what you did? You signed my deliverables in your, in your handwriting, right? Because you was rushing me. So you signed my deliverables. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, that shit called Santa Barbara sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the motherfucker and said, hey, we're gonna go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it? and made a decision, and then you get on whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a During his Instagram live sessions, Ray J voiced frustration about the Kardashians' persistent narrative that singles him out as the primary instigator behind the tape's release. He explained how the tape deal was actually a collaborative effort, yet he continues to be cast as the scapegoat. Ray J alleged that Kris Jenner had a strategic plan. By releasing the tape, she could capitalize on the ensuing media frenzy to elevate Kim to household name status, similar to her close friend Paris Hilton, who gained significant attention from her own scandal. The original tape between Kim Kardashian and Ray J was reportedly filmed during a trip to Cabo in 2004 during their relationship, which lasted from 2002 to 2006. However, the tape didn't become public until 2007 when rumors of its existence began circulating. Kim's attorney at the time, Stephen Kurtz, attempted to block its release through legal means but was unsuccessful. Kim Kardashian's superstar was eventually released on March 21, 2007 by Vivid. Entertainment despite Kim's efforts to prevent it. Regarding the release, Stephen Hirsch, the founder of Vivid Entertainment, stated that neither Kim nor Chris was initially involved in the deal when the footage was presented to him. Both Kim and Ray J had to agree to the release, reportedly receiving around $5 million each, but H noted that Kim opposed it fiercely. He described it as one of the most challenging deals they had ever negotiated. 
Apart from the tape, relations between Ray J's family and the Kardashians have been tense. Ray J's mother, Sonia Norwood, once sued Kim, Khloe, Courtney, and Rob Kardashian for purported credit card theft, although the case was ultimately dismissed. In summary, it's believed that momager Kris Jenner orchestrated the tape's leak, which proved fruitful as all the Kardashian siblings now manage successful ventures. That's all for today. See you in the next video.